Good afternoon. Today I'm testing the Sony SEL16F28 on the Sony A5100 camera. This is an APS-C designed lens, 16mm, maximum aperture f2.8, so you get a field of view of approximately 24mm because of the 15 times crop value and I'm sure it looks fine hopefully everything looks good sounds good I'm recording the audio directly into a Tascam DR22WL in a moment I'm going to switch over and put the 0.43 Vivitar wide-angle adapter lens on this 16 millimeter which should give me approximately a 10 millimeter field of view even with the crop value which is pretty wide so hang on a moment and I'll be right back and we're back and now we're shooting with the same SEL 16 f28 16 millimeter Sony lens but now we have the Vivitar 0.43 wide-angle adapter on it. As you can see, it's substantially wider. Hopefully, it's still fairly clean and clear, good-looking footage. Obviously, this can alleviate the problem with needing a speed booster. And... Uh, you can get more than the full frame value out of this lens and other lenses. This wide angle adapter doesn't really work very well with zooms but with primes like this 16 millimeter works pretty good. 10 millimeter after crop value and all is pretty wide. Considering the wide angle adapter from Vivitar is less than $20 and this 16 millimeter Sony lens is probably only about 180, 199 brand new. That's a pretty good deal. So, hopefully this looks good, sounds good. Hopefully you've learned a little something. Have a great day. Bye for now. Onagi wahi.